This is one of the most bizarre situations of the NHL season. Out of nowhere this evening, it was announced by the Anaheim Ducks that they had acquired left wing Cutter Gauthier from the Philadelphia Flyers in exchange for Jamie Drysdale and a second round pick in the 2025 NHL draft. And I mean, this is massive news. If you just recently watched the World Juniors, you surely remember Cutter Gauthier. He led the U.S. roster in scoring and helped the team secure a gold medal and was tied for most points in the entire tournament. Tournament. Right now, he is playing for Boston College, but he was selected in the 2022 NHL Draft at 5th overall, right behind Shane Wright by the Philadelphia Flyers. Why the trade before he's played a single NHL game? Well, Frank Saravelli put it simply. Sources say Cutter Gauthier informed Flyers organization that he did not want to play in Philly. Why? I mean, everyone's going to say John Tortorella, but it could be anything about how the organization was run, the roster, his speculation about their future performance. I mean, really, who knows? However, a rookie refusing to sign when the rights have been drafted is very rare. The most notable case is obviously Eric Lindros. He told the Quebec Nordiques he would not sign with them if drafted. They did so anyway. He didn't play. They traded him to Philadelphia. By the way, if he had played in 91-92, the Nordiques would have had Joe Sackick, Matt Sundin, Owen Nolan, and of course, Lindros, which is pretty wacky. There's also the case of Adam Fox more recently. Love this one as a Rangers fan. We still don't know exactly what happened. The rumor is that that he straight up said he would not play in Calgary. It seems more and more that that wasn't quite true. It just wasn't clear whether he would sign. Anyway, back to the trade. Friedman stated that Philadelphia had a lot of trouble trying to meet with Gauthier at the World Juniors. The belief was he preferred not to play there, so Flyers made the deal. Why Anaheim? I don't know. Maybe he really liked the idea of joining a super young core. Anaheim must be confident that they'll sign him. Jamie Drysdale is more than just an elite prospect. At 21, he's already an NHL regular. But hey, that's all I've got for you guys. Just completely out of nowhere. Kind of surprising that nothing about this leaked early. Clearly some backrooms world junior shenanigans going on. But let me know your thoughts down below.